Hi guys, Darth Deuces here, back on the Star Wars The Vintage Collection action figure review. Today taking a look at uh, a new release um, that came out pretty much right around this time, or pretty recently anyways, and it is the Vintage Collection Cassian Andor from Andor, the Disney Plus uh, TV show. And yeah, um, looking forward to this figure I suppose. Um, nothing, not one, I, I didn't pre-order them. It was kind of one of those figures where if I find them in store, I'll probably pick them up. If I don't, I'm not really going to be too worried about it. Um, don't get me wrong. I absolutely loved the Andor show. I think it was an excellent show. But uh, the characters just aren't really the most toyetic characters, I guess you could say. Uh, meaning they're not like cool-looking troopers or cool Jedi or Sith or anything like that. They're kind of just like people in normal-looking, drab-looking clothes for the most part. This version of casting is a pretty prime example of that. Um, like, yeah, um, I've seen Val in stores multiple times and I've passed on that figure because I can't justify paying the current prices of Vintage Collection figures for that, for that character. She's so simple. Um, I mean, Cassie's not too much better, but he's at least a little more interesting. And he is the main character of the series, so I want to get him in Vintage Collection. I'll probably get the Black Series one too. I actually don't know. I don't know how many Andor figures they're going to make in Vintage Collection. I don't know even know how many I would even bother getting. Maybe a Luthan if they make them. Uh, they're doing a Black Series Luthan. They, I don't think they've shown off a Vintage Collection of Luthan. I don't know. And then I don't know if I'd pick up any others. But Yeah, here is Cassian in the packaging. I actually do really like this card back. Um, maybe down the road if I find them in stores again, the card in the packaging is in good shape. I might uh, pick up another one to keep carded. Um, a simple image for the card back, but I think it's a pretty good one, pretty effective one for card back. I think it looks really good. There he is from probably the first episode. Cassie Andor, Andor logo looks very cool. And you got Cassie and the figure there. And then on the back, you got other figures that are being released. Um, I've seen the Cultoonian Raider in stores, in a couple stores now. I will probably get that figure eventually. I'm just not a huge priority. Uh, definitely gonna get Luke at some point. I just haven't been able to get the chance to get him yet. Uh, I previously reviewed Cal. I will be reviewing the Artillery Stormtrooper. I have that coming in the mail as of this video. And maybe event someday I might get Vel, but I wouldn't count on it. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for the packaging. So let's crack this open and take a closer look. So now I have Cassian out of the packaging. And it's a really cool figure. I'm glad to have a version of Cassian from the show in the collection. Um... To have some sort of representation of the show in my collection. But when all is said and done, it is a pretty basic figure, I guess. Um, it's not the most exciting thing ever in the world. Uh, but it is still cool. Uh, so take a closer look. If I uh, light down there, I think the head sculpt and the face print is pretty good. Uh, one thing that's kind of interesting is it looks like they actually sculpted the hair separately from the head sculpt. You know, I don't think you usually see that with three and three quarter inch figures. So... Um, I think that's pretty cool. I think the hair sculpt is quite nicely done. And then I think the head sculpt is good. I think the face print's pretty decent. Um, I've been noticing lately on vintage collection figures, some of them, Kyle had the same kind of issue where they're printing the eyes in such a way where they kind of come off as looking kind of surprised or shocked, um, which I think is a little weird. Um, the Cassian, I don't think is quite as bad as Cal was, but uh, I think it's noticeable. I don't know, but I think it still looks pretty good. The rest of the figure is nicely sculpted and painted. You have a fair amount of paintwork going on. You got these green on top of the blue tunic. You got the belt with the uh, gold buckles and whatnot painted on. You've got these little silver cylinders, whatever those things are, painted there as well, which is really nice. The jacket has a bunch of these uh, darker brown all over top of this light brown kind of details looking really nice you got the hood sculpted there which is cool and the sleeves and the pants you know you got the you got pockets and you got all the nice sculpt detail to simulate the clothing looks pretty good and then the boots um, but yeah not a whole lot to talk about really it does look pretty nice um, I don't think there's any sort of wash on the figure. It would have been kind of nice to maybe get a black wash just because kind of give it that grimier, grittier sort of look. But I think it still looks pretty good regardless. It doesn't come off as plasticky. It just would have been kind of nice. Articulation-wise, he has all the uh, standard 
articulation we get with modern three and a quarter inch Star Wars. You get the dumbbell joint in the neck. It is fairly hindered because of the hair and because of the jacket sculpt. Uh, you can get some pivot rotation, no problem. Doesn't look down a whole lot. Pretty much doesn't look up at all. Hinges at the shoulders that move very good. Uh, hinges at the elbows, which bend further than 90, which is great, especially with bulky uh, sleeve sculpts. Uh, that's really good articulation. Sole and vertical hinges at both wrists, which is good. Um, that vertical hinge actually works pretty well considering the sleeve sculpt, so that's nice. Um, there is a torso joint. Uh, crunch is actually pretty far. I'm a little kind of impressed by that. Uh, it goes back a bit, but the coat's going to get in the way. Kind of pivots and then rotates. Uh, new style ball joint hip, which kicks out pretty much all the way. Splits quite good, actually. Uh, the coat and the lower part of the tunic doesn't hinder the movement pretty much at all. Soil cut at the thigh. Single hinge at the knees, which go a bit past 90. And hinges at the ankle to move up a fair amount. Go down a lot and rotation, or pivot rather. So good articulation. You can get this guy in a lot of great poses, so no real complaints there. In terms of accessories, pretty accessory light. Um, if you wants to stand. All you get is his tiny little pistol. Um, I do really like the design of his pistol from the show. Remind me of Kyle Katarin's Briar pistol from Old Legends stories. So that's pretty cool. And I like how the little magazine or flipped around when he was using it. But it's sculpted in gray with a little bit of brown paint for the grip. Uh, sculpted pretty nicely. He can hold that in either hand. Both hands have a trigger finger. You can get him holding it like that. And that looks pretty good. No complaints there, holds it nice and securely. Uh, surprisingly, it doesn't actually have a holster on the figure. Um, I assume maybe that's accurate to the uh, show. I honestly can't remember. But uh, yeah, no uh, weapon storage for it, which uh, honestly doesn't bother me considering it's the only accessory it comes with. I'm going to have him hold it, so that's fine. But uh, yeah, it would have been nice. I'm going to get some other accessories, but I don't really know what else you could have included with them. It would have been nice to get the droid, but then they probably would have made it a deluxe set and made it way too expensive. So I prefer just to get it as a standard release and not have to pay crazy prices because even standard releases are pretty expensive now. And I don't really have anything to compare it to. I don't have the old three and a quarter inch black series slash finished collection Rogue One uh, Cassian. I don't think that figure ever got the face print treatment, so I just never bothered to buy it. Um... So, yeah, uh, happy to finally have a Cassian in the three and a quarter inch vintage collection uh, display. Um, it's nice to have the character in this scale. That's not a crap figure. I mean, I think if you're a fan of the show and you collect the three and a quarter inch figures, I uh, highly recommend picking this one up. Uh, I don't think it'll be that hard to find. I imagine it will probably peg warm to a certain extent, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, it'll be easy to find at least. Um, but that is pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And I'll see you all in the next one. May the force be with you.